guys, David Harris here with Protection Dog Sales and I've got Jalapeno and we're going to talk about predictability, trainability and one of the things that we get questions all the time about is how do we know, how do we know when we sell a puppy like this into the Build a Beast or the Super Dog program, how do we know what it's going to be like a year from now? And one of the reasons we know a lot about how these dogs are going to be is experience. We've raised this dog's mother, we trained her, we titled her in competition, we were out there with her, seeing a lot about her character, her temperament. That's what you learn from training. And we also learn a lot when, I, when we test these puppies at an early age. And one of the things we do when we're testing them is that we put them in an environment where there's a lot of stress, like this ramp here, this open ramp, it's very scary, it's rattly, it's dangerous and the puppy's reaction to that will tell us a lot about what's inside. So I'm not a psychic. You'll have to call the 1-900 number for that. But I can tell based on the puppy's reaction to stress what's inside this puppy's head. So I'm going to put him down. We'll lure him around with some food. And I'll tell you, if he's brave, he's going to go up this ramp. If he's not brave, he's not going to go up that ramp because it's not worth it. He's not starving to death. You can see he's a fat, plump, happy puppy. He's never had to fight for food in his life. <laughs> he's had plenty of it. But you can see that his food drive and his desire to have this food outweighs his self-preservation. And that tells a lot about character, hardness, mental hardness, and physical hardness. So I'm gonna make sure he can't fall off the backside of this because there's a hole right here all the way to the ground, five foot up in the air and Alapino doesn't really care. So I'm gonna guide him back down. Not gonna let him take a chance of hurting himself. But once again, physically and mentally tough enough to take on that kind of a challenge without being afraid of it, okay? And this isn't training. I didn't train him to do this. You could take a dog that was a little bit afraid and spend time and train them to do this. This is raw, okay? I didn't teach him to do that behavior. It's just in him to be that brave, okay? And all the puppies from this litter, this is the J litter, they're all like that. They're very mentally tough and physically tough. That's why we bred them, because we like what we saw in the Ks, we like what we saw in the Ts, we learned a lot from developing to them. And that's one of the things that's different about us here at Protection Dog Sales. As breeders, we're actually trainers. As trainers, we actually breed for what we want, what we know our customers need. What our customers need are dogs that are brave. Brave dogs don't make bad decisions. They're willing to take risk and they don't overreact to situations. One of the downsides of giant snouzers is they tend to be a little too suspicious of strangers, a little too quick to react. Brave, confident dogs aren't like that. Nervous, fearful dogs make mistakes. They overreact. Oh, I know you want to get back to work. This guy's a workaholic. So hope that helps you understand a little bit about how we predict the future of a personal protection dog. Raised in a home, with a family, for a family just like yours. If you want to learn more about protection dog sales and how we raise puppies for families, check out our website, guys, protectiondogsales.com. Good stuff, and keep an eye on Jalapeno. He's hot stuff.